So hidden figures. <laughs> this is Theodore Melfi. You know what this reminds me of? Yeah, what? It reminds me a lot of Theory of Everything. Yeah. Where yeah. it takes a very scientific concept and a very, you know... We, uh, we were saying the imitation game is the one that Frankie was yeah. like, this year's uh, imitation or, yeah. game. It, 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 it's similar, similar things. It's, it's dopey filmmaking. Dopey filmmaking with, with the, that aqua marine color grading mm -hmm. and... Period real life events. Period real life events told in... Of uh, something for single celled organisms. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is for simpletons. It was so dumbed down to a re it was a really interesting idea, right? These yeah. the, it kind of exposing me to thinking about the fact that, okay, there were first of all people who had to actually do calculations before computers. Mm -hmm. I kind of knew that. Yeah. And then the black yeah. women did that this. That would which be of a big group of did. black women. Incre incredible documentary, it would have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It been, I would have loved to see that as a um, documentary. It's a great documentary because yeah. it, it's not. An uninteresting topic. No, these no. three particular women, these real life women that they chronicled what was going on at that time, fascinating. I would yeah. love to see real story about it, not thrown in overly yeah. oh, emotional. God, yes. with the, the movie is garbage. This is the worst movie. This is absolutely the worst movie. Well, I think Hacksaw <laughs> and, and La La are, are worse. You think so? In terms of watchability. I felt like this undermined my intelligence at every time. Yeah, it did. That's, that's what I felt too. Be, because, <laughs> all right. <laughs> So, uh, obviously, segregation was a problem for black people. I Just understand. Hit me over and, the head with it, would every, you? Uh, yeah, they, it would have dictated their every life. But, like, seven or eight times they shoved that in your face. Like, yeah. and not. Like, oh, remember, it, we're in with, segregated times. Yeah, with each character. Each yeah. character, they did it several times. And I think all you need was maybe. You know, two or three. You just bring it back in your mind one time or two times. But really powerful, do it. Yeah. And then get out of there. I mean, they it had makes meaningless you, ones. It makes too. you start to question how did these women even get these jobs? Like the segregation and the racism is so forceful. I'm amazed they even hired black women at yeah. NASA at that time, if it's still that intense. Yeah. And, and then you have uh, fucking Dustin Hoffman going around. Kevin, or Kevin whatever, fuck it. <laughs> I, I called that way in advance. I was like, Frankie, this is the guy who only cares about his mission and is so hell-bent on doing it that he doesn't see race. Yeah. That, like, he's going to be her supporting oh, person yes. because... So you have Kevin Costner just walking around, sipping coffee, craning his head in rooms. Are you, like, are, are you guys not judging people based on their character and skills? Mm -hmm. It's like, what world is this? <laughs> He's the Brad Pitt of this film. Yeah, it, it was told through the prism of this like weird, um, like fantasy. It's the thing too is like, what cinematography in, in this was motivated? Like, what, what did they do? Any in the, the like, yelling bathroom scene? It may have actually happened, but you're telling me this woman could not have gone to her Kevin Costner boss and been like, "Here's the problem. Yeah. Um, I have to run across campus to go to a bathroom. That's why I'm gone all the time." Again, that bathroom thing happened like fucking five times before they resolved it. But, but her, her like <laughs> screaming moment of like, "You won't even touch my coffee pot." Again, I'm like, this couldn't have been resolved in another way earlier on. Yeah, it reminded me of the Imitation Game in as much as. It was like the one that, like, I thought that we were holding film. Like, because even Hacksaw and La La Land, in terms of their, like, the craft, it's holding itself to a higher standard. Yeah. I'm talking about, like, the technical aspects mm. of it. This really felt like a made for TV film, to be yeah. honest, in terms of the quality of, of directing, the quality of, uh, like, shot choice. People at my work came to me and were like, Did you see Hidden Figures yet? And I was like, No. How was it? And they were like, It blew my mind. It was so good. I, I can't even I be on get it. <laughs> I don't get like, it. Maybe I will win for costuming and hair and makeup. Yeah, and... yeah I, I actually, I mean, it was pleasant to look like, I, I like, like a Norman Rockwell painting. It was pleasant to see this kitschy design of the characters, but. The women, by the way, were all gorgeous and so well put together. Yeah. Their makeup was impeccable every morning. Oh, yeah. And they had the most beautiful pressed dresses. The lovely house. Very, I love the kitschy 60s. It was beautiful. Um, especially when they were like all around the car in these beautiful poses. Oh, it was gosh. so stupid. I hated it, guys. <laughs> I almost hated it from a modern perspective of when I hate like hot girl nerd. Because I'm like, all of these women are this brilliant. But yeah, they're putting on their makeup perfectly and they're this gorgeous every day. I'm like, there were no just nerdy 
black chicks in the 60s. Which I thought, like, when they portrayed her as a child at the beginning. I was, thought that's the direction uh, we were going. That was like yeah, where I she, was excited. She, I was she like, had Ooh. more She had more character. Yeah, yeah. And then you had, like... And she, like, lost that character. I think the most realistic character was the, the Big Bang Theory guy who was just, like, a racist in the beginning and a racist at the end. Yeah. He didn't change at all. And just kind of He's probably the most realistic guy. And, and kind of racist for selfish reasons. Like, yeah. just, oh, yeah. And it just doesn't I don't know. The past few years, <laughs> I, I feel like I've been living in the, the Upsidasium. <laughs> where, <laughs> where, where, like, everybody loves something that I think is absolutely terrible and then like I see something really great like Manchester by the Sea and everybody's like nuts to sad yeah I've gotten that too even from people who like film in cinema we're like Manchester is just too much of a downer I'm like, I think Viola had more to work with so like Viola Davis's character in like Fences mm -hmm. right that's who it is mm -hmm. um, like she was playing a real human being in these emotions like in this in this family in this situation where she's she had awesome given so much movie. to her husband Whereas, like these women, and I'm assuming at least a couple of them are nominated. You're just you're playing the historical, tragic African American figure of this year's Oscar group, and I feel yeah. I just feel like that it wasn't as much for them to work with. And I'm sure they're they're all great actresses. I've seen them do great things. It's just the same thing I'm seeing now over and over again. And I'd like to see them get roles where they're just playing a human and see yeah. what they do. Yeah. Which you know, if this movie had been tr like handled better, then it could have been. Th th these would be great roles. Because again, it's an interesting topic. It's an interesting story. It's an interesting struggle. Mm -hmm. This is just a bad, shitty movie. I hate it. Let me ask you: If you were a white male, would you wish to be an engineer? I wouldn't have to. I'd already be one. Don't you 